guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your mono strap maxi dress now this form of dress you basically have one part of your sleeve your basic sleeve and the other part you have it like your off shoulder with your mono strap so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style you need your shoulder measurements your bust your waist your hip and your gown length now your shoulder measurements is 18 inches there are basically two ways in which you can achieve your shoulder measurement the first one is to determine where you want your shoulder measurements to get up to especially for the sleeve part of the dress so if this part is where you want to have your sleeve you are basically going to measure from your center back this way to your desired length okay and this is actually very short it's a very form a very short form of sleeve somewhere around this part so when you're taking your measurements from your center back to this part that will determine like the length of your shoulder or you can basically add your shoulder measurement to your sleeve measurement so these are the two ways in which you can achieve your shoulder measurements now let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurement is 18. now note that this form of dress is actually like a free form of dress so basically you might not be needing your waist measurements your hip measurements and your bust measurement this is because your shoulder measurement is what you are going to use to cut it out okay because you are basically folding your fabric based on your shoulder measurements which you are going to understand better when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial so let's just go ahead now and calculate our basic measurements so our shoulder measurement is 18 18 measurement is 18 18 plus 2 we have 20 our bus is 36 36 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our waist is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 our gown length is 60 plus 2 inches we have 62 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this style please don't forget to join us on facebook t designs on instagram tg designs and if you have any question please drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make also trainings are available both online training and physical training and i'm going to put the details in the description box below another thing you should also take note of when you want to cut this style is to determine what parts you want to be your regular sleeve and what parts you want to be your off shoulder so that totally depends on you and you should also consider how deep you want it to be that is how deep you want the area of your off shoulder to be so you can deduct five inches four three six it depends on what you want to achieve and you are going to understand that better when we got to, when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial you are going to understand that better when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial and don't forget to check out the links of other videos related to this topic in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys this is what we have so basically you have to make use of soft fabric such as chiffon lacquer crepe fabrics that are soft so that they can flow well so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into four and i am using a very thick form of chiffon fabric which is actually very thick right so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my basic measurements so my basic measurements now we have shoulder to bust nine and a half inches so that's bust nine and a half inches bust to waist eight inches i have a detailed video where i explained distance calculation from your bust to waist waist to hip i'm going to go ahead and put down the link to the video in the description box below please make sure you check it out after watching this video so from our waist to hip we have nine inches 
and one essence of marking your basic measurements is to enable you know where to mark your bust measurements where to place your waist measurements your hip measurements and all of that please check out the video in the description box below so we have waist to knee length we have 18 inches and of course we have our gown length now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement don't forget that I said there are two ways in which you can get your shoulder measurements. The first one is to take your measurement directly and the second method is to add your shoulder measurements plus your sleeve measurements. So it depends on which one you prefer but at the end of the day you are going to arrive at the same answer. Now and also this form of style you, your sleeve is expected to be short and not like your regular long form of sleeve okay. So I'm going to go ahead now with 15 inches. I'm going to go ahead with 15 inches. This is where I have for my shoulder measurements. Okay. Or basically, let me just use like the old length for it. Let me just use the old length so that you guys will understand what I'm doing better. So I'm going to make use of this length which is the old length now for it and for the length i have 20 inches which is fine the only thing is that the sleeve of the arm where we are going to have our sleeve might just be longer and don't forget that i'm still going to go ahead and fold about two inches at this part which will serve as our sewing allowance so i'm going ahead to make use of this length which is 20 inches now what we are going to do next is on your bust line come in with two inches on your bust line come in with two inches so this is our two inches now this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have basically so we've gone ahead now to come in with two inches and i'm just going to connect this line all the way down and because what you have is a free form of dress so i'll just connect what i have all the way down and this is what it looks like so now this is what we have we've just gone ahead now to connect this all the way down this is actually very easy so i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out so that i can show you guys how to achieve the other side of this dress which is going to be like your one side okay now before then let me go ahead now and mark the neckline this will just enable us to know where to cut out the off I'm from so for the wideness of the neckline now I'm going to make use of three and a half inches so that is where we have our neckline so I'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys after cutting this out you can see what it looks like so automatically you can see like where we have our arm this is where we took off two inches and then went ahead to connect this all the way down so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and open this up but before then this is where we have your neckline please go ahead and also indicate your neckline at the other part too and this is because by the time you open this up you basically know where your neckline in so i just went ahead now to mark it on the other part also where we have our neckline and also at this point so we we'll go ahead now and just open this up it's by the time you open this up because we've notched our neckline on both sides you will discover that this is where we have our neckline okay this is where our neckline is so another thing you are also going to do is that you are going to go ahead and determine what part of your dress do you want to fall off and note that this totally depends on you you can decide that you want your right arm to have the off shoulder part or you can decide that you want your left hand to have it whichever one it just depends on you and you are still going to get the same results at the end of the day so guys now we've gone ahead now to open this up so by the time you open this up you discover that this is where we have our neckline because we've gone ahead to mark where we have our neckline on both sides now it's also very necessary for you to mark your middle point which is going to serve as your your middle point which is like the mid part of the fabric so this is the middle point here so basically what you have is this is your first neckline your second neckline like on both sides and this is the midpoint please if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so what we are going to do now is i'm going to work on this part which is going to serve as where we have our off shoulder so now you go ahead now and mark your basic shoulder measurements on the parts you want to be your off shoulder right 
go ahead and mark your basic measurements on the parts you've decided you want to be your off shoulder so we are marking it now from this midpoint that is the essence of having this middle line so we have seven inches we have seven inches so this is our shoulder measurement right this becomes our shoulder measurement this is what we have for our shoulder measurements now now the next thing you are basically going to do is you are going to determine how many inches off you want for your off shoulder and note that the number of inches you take off totally depends on you so you can take off about five inches four inches six inches it depends on how deep you want it to be so for me i'm going to go ahead with about five inches i think five inches is fine so i'll go ahead now and mark five inches so this is where we have our off shoulder this becomes the line our arm hole line for the off shoulder this is our shoulder measurement and this is where we have our neckline and this is the midpoint so that is what you have for the lines now the next thing you are going to do basically now is because since you are going to cut out this part which is your off shoulder this is your middle point you are going to connect what you have from your midpoint now up to this part okay you are going to connect what you have for your midpoint up to this part which will serve as your off shoulder so you are basically going to do this this way this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have can you see this so let me just come over again but if you have any question please drop your question in the comment section so we mark our regular neckline now it is also necessary for you to have your midpoint this will enable you to know what part you want your off shoulder to be once you are done with your midpoint now go ahead and mark the number of inches you want to take off and i said for me i want about five inches off so i basically just connect my five inches line to my midpoint okay connect your five inches line to the midpoint so now we'll just go ahead now and cut this out now we'll just go ahead now and cut out this part to serve as the neckline now another thing again you should also consider when you want to cut out this part of your this part of your off shoulder part is that you are to reduce the measurement and the reason is because in this style looking at what you have on your thumbnail the part where you have your sleeve is fuller than the other parts right so the number of inches you also deduct depends on how fitted you want this off shoulder part to be so basically this form of dress your off shoulder part is a little bit fitted than where you have your sleeve and like i said the number of inches you take off depends on you so i'm going to go ahead now and take off about five inches at this part so i'm going to mark my five inches now i'm going to mark my five inches i'll come down I'll mark my five inches so i'm basically taking off five inches but you can take off six inches four inches it depends on you so i'm going to take off five inches this is just to make this part of our off shoulder a little fitted compared to the other parts where we have our regular arm so i'll just go ahead now and mark the five inches up to the gown length and if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so now i've gone ahead now to cut out the five inches you can see that automatically this part becomes smaller now the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and cut out this neckline okay so we want to go ahead now and cut out this neckline now we've cut out the neckline you can see what we have this is basically what we have for our neckline so you can see the neckline and then we've gone ahead to cut out this part all the way down so the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and create our arm hole don't forget that this line here is our arm hole line like even from this other part of the dress this part is our arm hole line this is our waistline and our hip line so we want to go ahead now and get our arm hole and for you to get your arm hole it's basically easy just go ahead and give you a slant shape just to have your arm hole and of course you should know that when you want to have like your off shoulder part for your for your arm or your off shoulder is basically a slant okay so just go ahead now and give you a slant just to create your arm or area between your neckline and where you have your arm 
so i'll just go ahead now and cut this out so this is what it should look like so this part is your arm oh you can see and this part is your neckline and you discover that our neckline started from the middle part and not this part of the dress and this is because this part where you have your sleeve starts exactly at the midpoint so by the time you are done this is what our dress looks like <laughs> so cute guys and it's actually very stylish especially for ready to wear dresses so this is what we have you can see like your off shoulder your neckline and your regular shoulder please if you want this to be fuller than this when you are deducting inches at this part you can decide to deduct two inches or three inches but for me i took off five inches so this is basically what it looks like now I'll go ahead now and couple this up so in order for me to couple this up the first thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and aim our neckline and to aim your neckline you can either use a facing or a bias it depends on what you find comfortable to use and it also depends on you so once i'm done aiming this neckline i'll basically show you guys what it looks like and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and i'm also going to show you guys how to get your slits but before then let's aim this neckline and let me show you guys what it looks like so guys now this is what we have this is what we have but basically because we are still going to have like a band on this neckline you might not necessarily have to aim it okay because a band is still going to cross cross through that part so now go ahead now and place the two pieces on each other once you place the two pieces on each other you go ahead and stitch this shoulder part so that they can become like a single piece once you stitch this shoulder part now you are going to have your sleeve area so you are not stitching this part okay you are not stitching this part because this automatically becomes your sleeve right so after stitching the neckline you are going to leave this part where your arm is going to come through and then you are going to stitch from this part all the way down okay so after stitching it i'll show you guys what's next to couple this up you can see we've stitched the sides and this is what it looks like so for this other part now this opened where you have your regular sleeve and you can see this is where your arm is going to pass through so the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and measure what you have for your neckline and by the time you measure this this will help you to know the length of the inches you need in order for you to cut your cape so simply you are basically going to measure what you have start from this point go ahead and take your measurements all the way okay so just keep taking your measurements all the way round all the way round so for me now i have 34 inches so i have 34 inches now another thing you also need to do is that aside your 34 inches you are also going to add inches to it for the length this is because so that you can have extra you are going to tie at this part now for the wideness of it it totally depends on how wide you want it to be so now this is what the main dress looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out another fabric so with me here now i have another fabric i went ahead to add Add about eight inches to it okay I added eight inches to the length so that I can have enough to tie it and for the wideness I have four inches so for the wideness now I have four inches now by the time I fold it into two this way and I stitch about one inch I'm basically going to have one and a half inches for the wideness so what I'm going to do now because I added extra eight inches i'm going to mark four inches the four inches is basically going to stay out this way right the four inches is going to stay out this way and then i'll go ahead now to stitch this belt or this cape it's actually a cape anyway i'll go ahead to stitch this cape all the way round so i'll stitch it all the way around so by the time i stitch this all the way around you can see what it looks like like you can see that you're already having like 
what you have on your thumbnail so basically add inches to it you can add 10 inches extra to what you have for the neck so that you can have enough piece to tie it so i'll go ahead now and stitch this all the way and then i'll show you guys what it looks like but if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so guys now we've gone ahead now to attach this you can see what it looks like so you're just basically going to tie it and then you can see what we have so the next thing that we want to do now is to go ahead and open up our slits because this form of dress actually has a slit at the lower side so don't forget that we have our midpoint at this part this is our middle line so you draw your middle line all the way down the middle part of the fabric right so this is where we have our midline you go ahead and draw this all the way down but if you don't want it to have a slit you can actually rock it this way right but if you want to have a slit you just go ahead and extend your middle line all the way down now once you extend your midline this is what you have the next thing you are going to do now is to determine how high you want your slit to be and note that it depends on you okay so i'm going to go ahead and make my slit about 16 inches high i'm just going to mark where i have 16 inches high and then i'll go ahead and open this up so you can go higher if you want or you can just come down it depends on what you want so you can see the slits now opened and you can see what we have at this part so i'll go ahead now and put this on the mannequin after aiming the slits to show you guys what it looks like so guys once you are done this is what it looks like you can see the cape we've gone ahead to tie it on one side which is the off shoulder part and then you can see where we have a regular sleeve and all the way down you just basically have your sleeves at this lower part and this is what it looks like so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye